Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Vijay and I am a Microsoft MVP in SharePoint. In today's video, we are going to discuss about how we can create an app catalog site in SharePoint Online. We will see what is this app catalog site, what is the use of this and then we will see step by step how we can create in SharePoint Online. This is the first video in year 2021. I wish you everyone a happy new year and uh, i hope you had a good time till now and i wish we'll have a good time throughout the year now let us see first of all what is this app catalog site uh, if you are familiar with uh, the spfx development or the sharepoint add-in or apps development then you, you will you must have been already know that there will be an app file or a package file which we are uploading to somewhere in a document library and that is known as your app catalog site and that is the place where any anything you develop, any apps that you develop, whether it is apps or the SharePoint add-in also we have to put in the app catalog site. So anything that you uh, develop in your local system or for your SharePoint site, then we can put that in, in the app catalog site collection. And there are two kind of things are there. One is uh, you can do a tenant level uh, app catalog site and the other one is you can develop uh, a app catalog for the particular site collection so as the name suggests this will be for the entire tenant and the other one is for the particular site collection and uh, once you upload a app to your app catalog site then that app will be available in the site collection that means you can go uh, to to the uh, add an app from the particular site and then you can add it so that will come uh, on the from organization there will be a tab and there you can filter it and you will be able to see all your apps under that uh, the, from there you can add it now to create a uh, app catalog site you need to make sure that you are a global admin or a sharepoint admin in your microsoft 365 tenant and uh, also the final thing that uh, on this is that you can create or you can upload the apps um, or the add-ins which is your SharePoint hosted add-in or provided hosted add-in on the SPFX web parts or the solutions so that package both the things you have to upload into the same library so that will be basically under the app catalog site collection there will be a library I'll show you that now apart from that also you can develop office apps and you can upload it there to the same app catalog site but there will be a different uh, library for that so we will see that so what i'll do is i'll open my sharepoint uh, tenant and then from there we will see how we can create it now let me open it okay in case you are interested for sharepoint development training i have a complete sharepoint development training course i'll put the link in the video description you can have a look at that there are more than 60 hours there is 23 modules are there and also it contains power platform spfx so all these videos are here on this you can see everything you can check it here I'll put this link in the video description. Now, if you have already an Office 365 tenant or if you have signed up or you are using a developer tenant, so whichever it is, you can just uh, go to admin.microsoft.com. Uh, so which will basically open the Microsoft 365 admin center. Now I will show you from where you can go to the SharePoint admin. So basically the app catalog site collection, we can create it from the SharePoint admin but i will show you how we can go from here to sharepoint admin you can see here if you scroll down you can see sharepoint admin so basically this is under admin center click on that it will open this site the other way and the easiest way to access is uh, by default this will be your tenant name dot sharepoint dot com you just put hyphen admin over here then you you will go to the sharepoint admin center directly you don't need to go to microsoft 365 admin center and go there so you can directly go just by putting uh, hyphen admin in your uh, tenant now once you have this uh, if you will see here there is uh, uh, more feature uh, you can see click over here uh, and this is the modern admin center i hope uh, this you are using now the classic one is already um, it is not there now so all these things are there in the modern admin center so i hope you are here now so you can see more feature and uh, then you can see there is the apps section where you can click over here open and you will be able to see that this is your apps thing so you can see tenant admin apps dot aspx if you want to in case you want to directly access it 
so once you have this you can see there is the first uh, link is there app catalog once you click over here uh, now um, since I don't have a app catalog site here uh, so you can see create a new app catalog site or enter a, a URL for an existing app catalog site now um, if you don't have it like the first time you are doing so you, you can create a new app catalog site and you will have only one uh, app catalog site for the entire uh, tenant so click over here uh, create a new app catalog site uh, and then click on ok so once you click on ok then it will open the same uh, site creation form so which we usually create uh, which will are used to create a site collection and if you remember this is the classic SharePoint uh, uh, site collection uh, creation screen this is how exactly it is so I will give let's say TS info technologies app catalog and then I'll provide a URL here so I will say let's say TAP I'll give this info technologies app catalog like this TAP spot URL I'll give and then you can see you can select the language the time zone and the administrator so in this case i will put uh, my name as the administrator just put the name and click on this person icon so it will basically you can see it will uh, resolve it so this people picker will resolve it so you can see here now and the quota you can put on the number and then click on ok so basically this is a typical um, uh, site collection creation form which you usually use in the classic SharePoint uh, online so now you can see uh, this has been created uh, so from here uh, you can click on active sites so basically you will come to the active sites tab here you can see this is the active sites and here you can see the um, uh, see the site here so so you can see now this is the app catalog site uh, it will take some time since in classic SharePoint site usually it will it will take some time when you will create a when you will start creating a, a site in modern site it will be immediately you can see the site uh, in very less time it will create the site but here you can see now it is available so you can click over here and if you look at this it is a it is a classic SharePoint site collection you can see and here are the uh, doc document libraries the first one you can see apps for SharePoint now this is the library uh, which where you will upload all your apps so whether it is your uh, SharePoint add-in or apps or or it is your SPFX uh, part uh, um, package file anything you will upload it here and if you are working with uh, um, apps for office then this is the place where you can upload it so the, these are the two document libraries that you can use one is for uh, your SharePoint uh, related apps other one is for office related apps so this is how you can create a app catalog site we'll see some more videos as well and if you want similar kind of videos then subscribe to our YouTube channel you'll get a lot of free videos on SPFX, SharePoint, Office 365, Power Platform apart from that other technologies like JavaScript, jQuery all these videos you will get it free so thank you and have a nice day